Hi, I'm Rogers Healy, the owner and CEO of the Rogers Healy Companies based right here in North Texas and Dallas, Fort Worth. And I'm also the owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. And today I'm here to give you my five tips for maximizing the value in your property sale. Number one is the hardest one, but maybe it's the easiest one. It's hiring a great real estate agent, someone who is qualified to negotiate, market, and network on your property's behalf. When you hire me or someone like me, my job is to make your property famous. It is to go and negotiate, to get in the trenches, and to make sure I do my job of earning my full fee, all in hopes of making you more money than any other agent could do. My next tip is cliche real estate. A book is judged by its cover. Number two is make sure you have curb appeal. You want people to go and fall in love before they even walk into the property. Spend the right kind of money on paint, on landscaping, and any kind of decor that's gonna make people feel like they're home. It's like falling in love. Imagine when you met your person, you couldn't go and duplicate that feeling, and that's what we want everybody experiencing the minute they even pull up to your listing. Step number three is the hardest step for me, and that is to de- clutter. We all love memories. My wife calls me a hoarder. I call myself a memory lover. It's sometimes hard to go and depersonalize a house, but you have to realize when someone walks into that property, they want to feel like it's theirs, not yours. So the uh, taxidermy, maybe put it in a closet. The photo albums, maybe put that into a drawer. But remember, you got to live in the house while you're still trying to sell it, but just go and depersonalize it as much as possible, making the next person feel like it can be theirs. My next step is step number four, which is my lucky number, and it's the one you probably don't want to hear because it might cost you the most amount of money, but that is this. Do the necessary repairs before you go to the market. The stuff that people don't want to deal with after they purchase the property, take care of it. Roof issues, plumbing issues, maybe even foundation issues, get that stuff done. And again, the value of having a great real estate agent is they're going to have a list of vendors, at least three deep, that are going to be readily available to help you out. Number five, here's one. Remove the emotions and be the buyer for your property. Think about what it would be like to walk inside that house if it wasn't you. All the stuff that maybe you were personalizing it with, other than the photos and the decor, maybe the paint color, maybe the furniture, maybe the smell. You have to find a way to make your property inviting. We all love animals, but maybe you have too many, right? Maybe that's another conversation, but if you have a little odor on your carpet, Maybe put down some hardwood floors. That's a great investment. Make sure you don't give the people any reason to object to calling your house their next home. Thanks for paying attention, everybody. I'm Rogers Healy. You can find us online at rogershealy.com or reach out to us at info at rogershealy.com.